Well, hey y'all, welcome to Throttle Power. Today we are at another hobby shop. We are in Lexington, Kentucky, horse country, and where everyone bleeds blue, home of the Kentucky Wildcats. But we aren't here to see the horses. We aren't here to watch Kentucky play basketball or football. We're here to check out this hobby shop. So let's check out this hobby town and see what they got. It's a pretty nice shop. I've been here before and they've got a lot of stuff. When you first walk in the shop, you'll notice right there there's a slot car track. Uh, they just started building this and they're almost finished with it and they said uh, they're going to let guys run slot cars on it, which is really cool. I like seeing stuff like that at a hobby shop. kind of brings back memories of the old days. When I was a kid, you can go into a hobby shop and have some fun. Towards the back of the store is the car models. That's why I was there, was to check this stuff out. They got a nice selection of car models. I was really surprised. They got a little bit of everything. As you can see, you kind of name it, they've got it. The Chevelle, the GTX, there's that gangbuster car with the motorcycle in it. Nice selection. They even got some of the harder to find kits too, we'll see here in a minute. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of them. All the NASCAR kits. There we go. Check these out. There's some nice finds down here. There's the Miller GMC Astro. There's a nice Charger kit. 68 Charger from Revell. You don't see that too often. King Chopper. Oh, there's a nice, there's a nice kit right there. That's cool. A lot of nice stuff down there. And once in a while, they'll have some sale tags. It's a cool rally car, that Fiat. Decent selection of semis and trailers. Flatbed trailer from Mobius. Some aftermarket stuff. Go for decals. Super single tires and wheels from Mobius, uh, all the AMT parts packs, more semi stuff, GMC General, a lot of good stuff here. Oh, yeah. Now the good old Kenworth Challenge Mixer. I started that kit. Let me know down below if you've built that mixer kit. I need to get back on mine and finish it. I need to get back on that kit and finish it. A lot of good stuff here. Cattle trailer from AMT. Get that while you can. Check out this big kit from Tamiya. Well, that thing's neat. That big old Porsche kit. Box was huge. And we got the snaps on the other side here in this aisle. Don't snub the snap. You can build a cool model out of snaps. Display cases. Start getting up into a little bit of sci fi. Monster kits. Star Wars. Yeah, check out those. Those are cool. The monster kits. The forgotten prisoner. Oh, yeah. King Kong. Star Wars. Some supplies. K&S. Wire and tubing. Got a lot of K&S stuff. Look at all that. It's cool stuff right there. You can never have enough tubing and wire. Oh, and the sheets of plastic, colored sheets of plastic are great to have. So for scratch building, you can do a lot of stuff with colored plastic, especially like building a gasser, put in some uh, colored glass. That's really neat. Oh, well, here I got to act like a five-year-old, I guess. Put it up to the uh, camera. <laughs> did I do? Oh, I did do it. I did it again. Five-year-old's acting up. Get him out of the store. 
What else we got? Oh yeah, there's the rack I like to see when I go into a shop. The evergreen plastic. You see that rack? Yeah, you know it's a good shop. Whether you scratch build or not, you can always find something from the evergreen rack. That sheets of plastic to strips of plastic to anything and everything, they have it. A lot of stuff. They said they sell a lot of this and the uh, plastic truck. I'll show you the plastic truck here in a minute. Good stuff right there. I highly recommend um, every time you go to a hobby shop to pick up a few packages of the Evergreen or Plastrek. Just just stock up on it. You get a package here, package there. Here's all the Plastrek. That's a good rack too. Great product, great stuff. Really neat things you can do when you have some of that. And of course the sheets of plastic are really cool. Comes in every shape and form you can imagine. Corrugated to brick roads to you name it. To to anything really good stuff looked a little low on this side but like they said they sell a lot of it so they probably had more coming in can never have enough of that stuff you never know when you need a, a strip of something ah the old diamond plate good old sheet of diamond plates always good to have too Love diamond plate. You can use it for toolboxes, the flooring. You can use it for anything. And we get into some Gundam stuff. This looks like the small Gundam stuff. I gotta admit, I'm not much of a Gundam person, so if I say something wrong in this aisle, take it easy on me. I've only built one Gundam. In fact, I, I did a video on it too. So I have built one Gundam and I got a video to prove it. There's the bigger Gundams. And this is a magazine rack, one of two. Had a few miscellaneous magazines, uh, more, more train stuff. I'm getting into some uh, military. Airplanes, quite a few airplanes to choose from, that was cool. Ships, and the tanks, that nice stack of Tamiya tanks, beautiful. Love me a Tamiya tank. You love them. This thing's built nice. Some other brands of uh, tanks. Not bad selection here. Not bad at all. Some more ships. One forty-eight scale to me, tanks. More magazines. This is more of the modeling section of magazines. Looks like they got about everything that's out there. And the paints. A lot of paints. Uh, this store uh, had a lot of paints. All the Tamiya paints. And this, these Tamiya paints were for the plastic. I'll show you the uh, Tamiya paints for the RC cars here in a few minutes. So this was all plastic right here. More paints. More paints. Lots and lots of paints. Some supplies, glues, what's left of the Model Master paints, more 
more glue glue and paint paint and glue what's left of the model master right there mission models oh I like the mission model paint I love using mission models let me know down below if you've ever used mission model paints and if you've had good luck or not with it I it's usually a 50 50 some guys love it some guys don't I've had good luck with my mission model paint when I use it getting in the RC area this is just part of the RC area um, I, I couldn't film the other part there was some some guys buying some stuff so I didn't go in that little area there where they were at this shows some of it Got bodies all the tires tires there on the right up ahead some airplanes and more there's the Tamiya paint for the uh, Lexan so they keep that separate so the uh, model guys don't get mixed up and vice versa spastics paint love spastic spastics great stuff and they had a good supply of spastic too and I like doing the spastic chrome I've had good luck with that spastic chrome Of course, more paint. Train section. Pretty decent train section. So a little bit of everything for the trains. Everything from parts to sets. So a little, a little bit of everything. Tracks. I think they had every uh, gauge of track there for sale. Lots of sets. I think they're, they're gearing up for the holidays for sets too. And um, the, this rack here has a lot of neat stuff for your dioramas. Uh, for, well, this is for your train guys for doing scenes, but you know, if you're doing uh, military or cars and want to build a diorama, this you go to your train section and you can get stuff to do that. All this woodland scenic stuff is excellent. Love the woodland scenics. This is good stuff right here. This woodland scenics is excellent and they offer everything to make any type of diorama from anything small to a complete train layout but again if, if you're gonna do a diorama go look for some woodland scenic stuff in a train section at a hobby shop and this is what you'll find and great stuff And Woodland Scenics has you covered from complete trees to making a tree to water to ground to sand to you name it. More train tracks, train stuff. The store was nice and clean and organized. I, I uh, like that too. Wasn't cluttered, wasn't unorganized. It was uh, nice and organized. There's some more supplies, tools, more tools, plenty of snips, nippers to choose from, some cutting pads, of course your exacto stuff. This case here was locked. They carry some expensive airbrush stuff. Um, they carry a line of Grex, Grex airbrushes. There's some pretty cool stuff. These are all 24 scale too, which I, I wish they'd come out with the models and that stuff. But anyway, the, that cat stuff is really neat. That is neat there, that, that crane, really cool. I'd like to make one of those. Trash trucks. Getting into some rockets. I've shot a lot of rockets off into the sky. There's some slot car stuff. They're wanting to get bigger into slot cars. That's why they're making that track. Going to encourage the, everyone to buy slot cars. More rocket stuff. How many rockets have you shot off? And there's some more RC stuff. Again, it was hard to get to the RC stuff. There were guys there. And that is Hobby Town in Lexington.